Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have before us a very typical type of problem. We're given a logarithmic function in logarithmic form and they're asking us to solve for x. How do we do that? Well, it turns out in this case we want to convert it to exponential form, which means we have to use the antilog technique. We're going to take the antilog of both sides, which means we're going to raise the left side and the right side as the exponent of the base of the logarithmic function, which is 5. So on the left side, we're going to write 5 raised to the log base 5 of x, and on the right side, we're going to write 5 raised to the second power. So if the log base 5 of x equals 2, then certainly we can use them as exponents of the same base, and that equation will still be correct. The left side will still equal the right side. Now here we remember that if we take the, x, the base 5 and raise it to the exponent log of base 5 of x, we simply get x. So this becomes x is equal to 5 to the second power. And of course 5 to the second power is equal to 25, so x equals 25. And that's how we solve for x when we have x buried in a logarithmic function. We take the antilog of both sides to solve for x. That's how it's done.